YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Ori. Welcome back to AM Island Vibes. Hope you guys have an awesome day, man. Today we're going to be doing another reaction video. We're going to be reacting to how the Prince of Dubai spent $400 million US. You guys know my dream vacation spot I would love to be um, invited to is Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. I would like to be invited. So if I have anybody there from Saudi, you guys want to see Fat Boy in Saudi? Come on, man. Just send me an invitation. Let your boy come to your country. Come on, be. Come. If you're part of the royal family of Saudi, come on, man. Hook your boy up a couple tickets, man. I ain't even got to stay nowhere, fancy man. Look at me. I, I own a couch. And you put me on a little corner, I'll be straight. Boy, I just want to come to Saudi and experience the whole culture, man. The culture lit. And I really, I, let me tell you why I won't, I won't go. <laughs> let me tell you how a freak I am, right? I just want to go to Saudi. I won't wear your um, garments. I can't remember the proper name of it, so I don't want to disrespect it. I won't wear it, just so I don't have to wear clothes under my clothes. I swear to you, I, I promise you. I just won't wear it, just so I, I can be butt naked under there. I probably put on some drawers, like some boxes, but other than that, I freaking be chilling. I do it. Wait, no, I can't, I can't raise my leg up and my blinds and little chilling. But if you guys are new to the channel, man, smash that like button, subscribe. Coming down below, we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Let's get it. All right? Woo! Is one of the richest royals in the world with a personal net worth of $400 million. However, the Dubai royal family is worth much, much more than that. An estimate oh, of $18 billion. God damn! Kind of Hold wealth. on. My side. Oh, God. Eighteen billion dollars, bro. I should be able to slap you up if I get eight. Listen, I should be able to kick you, kick you in your knee <laughs> if I get eighteen billion dollars. You can't tell me nothing. You know what I mean? I I feel like eighteen billion should be an insult. Oh, no, no, no. eighteen billion, nigga. Eighteen billion. Eighteen billion. <laughs> your left side just go numb. Surprise, the prince has some extravagant taste. He has everything from amphibious vehicles and his own What's food, this boy? tanks to millions of dollars worth of exotic animals. This nigga have a the lion. Most expensive horse and camel in the entire world. From yachts to exciting hobbies, here's how the royal prince of Dubai what? spends his millions. Look at Let's start with where he lives. Of course, the prince, who goes by the title Sheikh oh, bin Mohammed, has plenty of options when it comes to luxury homes. The Dubai family owns plenty of expensive properties around the world, but these are the ones favorited by Fazah. The first is the Royal Palace, because how could anybody not love living in this place? The Zabil Palace is estimated to be worth as much as $500 million and officially belongs to the ruler of Dubai and Fazah's father, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. These yeah, photos are from when the palace was lit up for an array of royal weddings. While the interior has been kept pretty private and visitors are allowed nowhere near the royal home, these shots of another of Dubai's royal palaces give us an idea of just how opulent it is on the inside. In fact, most of Dubai's royal palaces are in the same area, which is basically a large complex of several palaces where most royal family members live. To get away from life in Dubai, the prince has a favorite spot in Vancouver, Canada. He owns a $55 million penthouse at the Fairmont Pacific Rim Hotel. Nice, huh? Originally, Fazah bought just one penthouse in the building for $25 million in 2017. But why buy one when you can have three? But then he quickly bought three sub-penthouse units just underneath it, bringing the total investment to $55 million, and reportedly, he paid in cash. Now the luxury penthouse covers 15,000 square feet over the building's top three floors. It features all glass walls for amazing views of the Canadian city's downtown, a loft seating area, a spacious kitchen, an office, and multiple living rooms and lounges. The prince also has ties to another luxurious hotel, but he doesn't just own a penthouse in this one. He owns the whole thing. Zabil Investments is a private investment company owned by Fazah that owns tons of properties across the United Arab Emirates, including the Hotel Jamira Zabil Saray, located on the famous man-made luxury island of Palm Jamira. The Dubai Hotel costs $12 billion to construct and has its own indoor and outdoor pools, access to private oh. beaches for its... Let me, let me tell you all the time, right? where I experience how much money these niggas get, right? So, I live in the Turks and Caicos, right? Um, I live in the Turks and Caicos, right? So, I don't know if it's him. I, I, I don't know if it's him or it's not him. You know what I mean? It could be him, maybe it could not. 
All we know is one of them is is a sheik from or one of them prince or them sheik. So what you know, one of them high wealthy tycoons in, in the Middle East came here for a vacation, right? So he shot out a Boeing seven four seven, right? That is the second largest passenger carrying um, aircraft, right? From Atlas Hill to land here, right? And you might be saying, um, okay, he on there, right? Maybe baby boy or baby girl ain't on there. He perched, he chartered the aircraft to bring his employees. This man brought his chefs from over there with their food, they 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 all they, they all of this, all of that, they food preparation on the island. Just let so you know how far um the Middle East is from here. It's over um, it's over sixteen hours, I'm pretty sure. Right? So I'm saying to myself, yo, I I, I channel this whole play for my employees. I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all niggas going on American. Y'all niggas going on Southwest. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe JetBlue. And I feel it bougie. JetBlue. But y'all niggas going on Southwest. Sorry. Yeah. And tons of luxury suites. There are 405 rooms for guests, plus 38 royal residences where the Dubai royals, including Faza, can enjoy a taste of the Zabil luxury oh, meant shit. just for them. Faza has been called. <laughs> Bit of an animal whisperer, a reputation he earned because of all the exotic pets he owns. Yeah, I had a, I had a girl that used to tigers, just like elephants, that. lions, and plenty of distinguished peacocks. What? But there's probably nothing more impressive than his camel because it's the most expensive camel in the entire world. While what? searching for the world's greatest camel to add to his collection, you know, just like the rest of us do all the time, the prince picked this one out of 17,000 candidates. He bought the camel for $2.7 million. What? It's been a star on his Instagram account ever since. Finally, an Instagram account worth following. While less expensive, Fazaz falcons are also some of his favorite animals. The prince has individual falcons flown into the United Arab Emirates thanks to his falcon dealer, Bryn Close, who provides the prince with falcons exclusively. While we aren't sure exactly how much Fazaz spends per falcon, he's expected to own hundreds, and they can win the prince more than $100,000 anytime they win a race or competition. Does ESPN run falcon racing? Check that. Prince Faza even has another animal that's expected to be the most expensive of its kind. One of his prized show horses reportedly cost the prince $1.8 million, and he's been spotted showing it off at competitions all over the world. The prince is believed to own more than 1,000 horses across the world, and he has at least 120 camels on his farm in Dubai. While the prince could choose to get around on the backs of camels, horses, and elephants, he usually opts for his multi-million dollar car collection, which includes multiple gold vehicles. These flashy golden cars include a gold Rolls-Royce Phantom worth an estimated $8.2 million. He also has a golden Lamborghini Aventador worth $7.5 million, a Porsche 918 Spider with a price tag of $5.8 million, and a gold Range Rover Vogue expected to be worth at least $3.2 million. Yeah, and a Lamborghini Veneno Roadster worth $4.5 million. When the car was released in 2014, only nine were ever produced, and he had the car gold-plated for an unspecified but probably extravagant amount of money. But the most expensive golden vehicle he owns is a Mercedes AMG G63, worth an estimated $9.6 million. His other non-golden, how dare he, luxury vehicles aren't really any less impressive. He has an Aston Martin 177, worth $1.9 million, that was once thought to be the most expensive car in the world. It gets his name because there are only 77 of these cars in existence. His Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport is another unique addition to his collection. It's got a strange reptilian body, can reach speeds of 250 miles per hour, and it costs the Prince $1.7 million. He also has a LaFerrari worth $2.1 million, and a sleek Ferrari F12 Berlinetta worth $1.5 million. Okay, enough about the cars. What about his fleet of tanks? 
Prince Fazad owns an extraordinary collection of luxury tanks. Is that a thing? Yeah, beloved by the rich. They can plow over any terrain, from sand and mud to snow, and they're also military grade and nearly indestructible. The prince has been spotted using them for joy rides in the deserts of Dubai. These ripsaw tanks cost $495,000 for a single seat model, $545,000 for two seats, and $595,000 for four seats, in case you're thinking of buying one. Oh. Since the prince seems to love to drive in any terrain possible, he's I ain't gonna lie though. That's pretty affordable for a tank when it comes to tank wise. Hmm. Huh. That's pretty affordable. I'd expect them like on crazy 15 million, 20 million, you know what I mean? Somewhere around there. Got quite the collection of amphibious cars. The Prince used to be a big fan of the Python, but now he's upgraded to the next best thing, the Panther. Though the Python can reach a record-setting speed on water, about 60 miles per hour. It has an enormous $300,000 price tag. The newer Pythons are even faster, but they're also cheaper and expected to cost $135,000. See, that's affordable. The Prince spent $800,000 in total on multiple Panthers to add to his collection to get a head start on the water vehicle trend before they officially hit the market. For for a more relaxed time on the sea, Prince yeah. also owns a few luxurious super yachts. One of them is the $70 million Esmeralda, but his most expensive yacht that he bought in 2013 cost $180 million, Gosh. and it has everything he could possibly need on water, including a gym designed by Usain Bolt, several pools, and a what? spa, and a helicopter landing pad. And of course, the Prince also has his own private plane. He uses the Boeing 747-400, which cost about $260 million. The Dubai Royal Air Wing has a fleet of them that can be used by members of the royal family. However, he also likes to fly first class on Emirates, which costs a minimum 600 per hour of flight time. Tickets across the globe can easily exceed $20,000 each. So there's one last question. How has the prince racked up such an impressive personal net worth? Does he really work for his money? Well, of course, there's the Beal Investments. The private investment company helps keep personal money in the prince's pockets, and the company has invested billions on buildings and construction projects. But obviously, most of the prince's net worth is thanks to his connections as a member of the royal family. While most of Fazaz's hobbies are just for fun, he's incredibly talented and takes part in a lot of competitions. He's an award-winning horse rider, semi-professional skydiver, and what? an accomplished athlete. He's also a talented poet and photographer, and is the founder of the Hamdan International Photography Award. With so many incredible hobbies and millions to spend on. You know what? One thing I see about him, he seems like a down-to-earth guy, you know what I mean? You know, like, there's some rich people, right? You don't even know they're rich. You know what I mean? Like, they that, that's how dad cool they are. Like, they would sit down, like, say for example, my little crib, right? Some people, I would invite them in here, right? But like, hey, come sit down with me, let me watch a couple of reaction videos. You know, have, well, for you, I don't drink. You can have a couple of drinks, you know, where we sit down and just talk shit. He seems like a type of person like, yeah man, yeah man, let's go, let's go. We can go, we can come, we can come, let's go. We sit down in my little couch. My, his couch is better than my couch. I'm pretty sure of that. All his damn couch is better than mine. But I'm gonna go come here and chill, you know what I mean? And I, I like people like that. Who don't let the um, wealth, power, success get to them, let them be like, hey, I'm still human. I ain't above nobody. We all is one. You know what I mean? I love that, I love that. He doesn't seem to spend much time in the office, but if you were a royal, wouldn't you do the same? Hell yeah. Prince Fazad might spend a lot of his money on exotic animals and extravagant hobbies, but sometimes they make him money too. You know that almost $3 million camel we mentioned? It won the prince $600,000 in a camel beauty contest. <laughs> now that's a prize pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Boy. Construction, so, more, okay, so what we learned from just now, besides being a part of the royal family, he makes his money from construction, basically. Huh. Okay, so, note to, self, note to self, get into the construction industry, and you can have a $3.7 million camel. I don't want a camel. Yo, you know what's funny, now speaking of camels, right? Um, I remember when I was in primary school, right? We... Had uh, I went to a private school, so we had jeans day, right? And let me okay. I'm not. I don't think I'm better than anybody. I am not gonna sit up here and act like I had everything, and I'm not gonna sit up here and act like I didn't have nothing. I had stuff. 
but I didn't have everything, you know what I mean? One of those type of stuff. So anyway, there's this guy, right? He had a polo, right? And you guys remember when they used to be like, oh, um, USPS is fake polo, or that's not the real polo. What had to understand to this date, even though it came out before. Anyway, don't concern me. So this nigga, everybody was talking about, oh, my polo is Ralph Lauren polo, my polo is UPS, my polo, you know what I mean? My polo got two guys riding the horse. This nigga polo was so fake, right? This nigga polo was a dude wearing a snapback, right? I just, I just, I just call it a snapback. Uh, this nigga dude was wearing, wearing a snapback, right? I swear to you, I swear to God. Well, not swear to God. I promise you, this nigga man was riding a fucking llama. Not a horse, not a zebra. Not even a camel, a fucking llama. <laughs> oh, my this nigga, a polo guy was riding a llama. I say, why is he wearing riding a llama? No man. Listen, don't tell me. I just say, no man. That's how it is. I say, bro, polo. <laughs> I say he riding a horse. I say, bro, horse neck is 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 like this. A llama neck. It's straight. And it goes right in the llama. Oh, that's tough, man. Boy, they tease that dude. I haven't got a cap. I ain't, and I ain't gonna act like I didn't join. I did join. I tease him, too. I tease him. I tease him. I mean, but well, for a little bit. But, anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you guys are new to the channel, smack the like button, subscribe. Comment down below. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. You know, we always rocking that live gang for always. Alright? But that being said, hope you guys have an amazing day, man. Be happy and blessed. Remember, the world is yours. Peace.